Satan represents indulgence instead of abstinence. Satan represents vital existence instead of spiritual pipe dreams. Satan represents undefiled wisdom instead of hypocritical self-deceit. Satan represents kindness to those who deserve it instead of love wasted on ingrates. Satan represents vengeance instead of turning the other cheek. Satan represents responsibility to the responsible instead of concern for psychic vampires. of social change creates an ideal climate for panic. The occurrence of moral panics parallel historical moments where established cultural norms are under threat. Moral panics about evil Satanists engaged in devil worship appear historically, tracking alongside significant changes to society. One of the earliest examples of this is shown in the collapse of the church institution and peasant rebellions in 14th century Europe, that sparked panic that devil-loving dissenters were wreaking havoc on society. A contemporary account of satanic panic can be seen in England and the US in the 20th century. A narrative began to emerge that children were suffering at the hands of satanic ritual abuse. This caused an acute panic in the West. Geoffrey Victor describes the societal changes of the 1980s to 90s shown in the breakdown of the family institution, dramatic alterations to child rearing, and the construction of new gender roles. We can see that times of flux are open for the creation of folk devils. A sense of vulnerability in the dominant group pairs with a need to rationalise uncomfortable negative experiences of the unknown with the image of evil. It could be said then, that folk devils come to embody all that is uncomfortable for the dominant group during times of uncertainty. Interpreting Stan Cohen's original conceptualisation of folk devils and moral panics as simply an act of scapegoating may be a misunderstanding. However, deviations from the original theory highlight the difficulties in measuring the point when a folk devil is conceived. The grasp of understanding moral panic phenomena also becomes loosened in the current social world of complex media interactions and dynamic relationships between the public and the press. The socio-political surroundings of both 14th century and 20th century panics suggest that social groups have a tendency to blame others, making accusations of evil that are ironically cathartic for the accuser during times of instability. Of particular note when understanding satanic panics is that the image of Lucifer is inextricably linked with Western dualistic understandings of evil. Depictions of evil are found in all cultures, but it is the early Protestant creation of Satan as the antithesis of goodness that remains in the modern West. 
Arguably, the symbolism of Satan as the image of evil continually resonates and fuels a fire of confusion regarding what the practice of contemporary Satanism entails. The established Church of Satan was founded by Anton LaVey in 1966. LaVey's philosophy was one of individualism and personal freedom. Vital to his philosophy is atheism. Satanists do not believe that Satan exists. For the established satanic movement, the devil is symbolic as an externalization of human qualities. For LaVey, the Church of Satan is fundamentally based on the rejection and opposition of traditional Christian beliefs. Therefore, LaVey opposes the Christian symbol of Satan. Satanism can be seen as rebellious and confrontational to traditional and fundamentalist Christianity. For Satanists, the image of Lucifer is redefined away from Christian terms. Instead, Satan takes on new meaning and coincides with an increasingly secular society. For Satanists, Lucifer represents hedonism and indulgence in activities that are labelled as taboo or deviant. Contemporary Satanism more closely parallels capitalist ideology about the elevation of oneself, or humanistic beliefs more than it shares any real relationship to Christianity. Modern Satanists vehemently deny both the belief in a literal Satan and in the accusations of child abuse. LaVey left a legacy of resistance to these accusations, and Fontaine shows the continuation of this in the promotional material of the Church of Satan. Material that states prominently that Satanists are against the harming of children. Despite clear assertions and a total lack of evidence that there has ever been widespread ritual abuse, a number of anti-Satanic movements perpetuate contemporary panics. Organisations prolonging the panic are the Child Protection Movement, the Anti-Cult Movement and the Fundamentalist Church. In conclusion, unlike the archetypal example of the moral panic of mods and rockers, the folk devil of the Satanists continues to re-emerge throughout history. Satan is deeply embedded as a cultural synonym for evil. And times of social change are likely to create peak conditions for Satanic panic. Therefore, context of uncertainty may catalyse future panic and a familiar backlash against contemporary Satanists will be observed. <laughs>